Bora Hansgrohe finally managed to get him in trouble. Honorando la, la carrera, que voy a ir allá y voy a intentar dar lo mejor de mí, lo mejor de, de, de la versión de, de Egan Bernal. Egan Bernal's legs have totally cracked. Roglic is putting Bernal on the ropes. The contrast in faces is incredible. Hey, llegamos a París y estoy tercero, estoy segundo, o gané, o estoy quinto, creo que voy a estar tranquilo porque lo he dado todo. Well, yesterday's slog up the Puy Marie certainly took its toll on the riders, including Egan Bernal, and caused a shake-up in the GC. Today should be easier, but there are still five climbs on the menu before a tricky finish. This stage looked ideal for a strong breakaway, but only two men went up the road early, Stefan Kung and Edward Turns. Meanwhile, Peter Sagan and Bora Hansgrohe were determined to make life hard for the man in the green jersey, Sam Bennett, the head of the intermediate sprint. Allez, Peter Sagan, bien sûr, qui pour les Sagan. points. Sagan making up ground in the battle for green as Bora Hansgrohe continued to plug away on the day's biggest climb, the Col de Bayal. They were determined to leave Bennett and the sprinters behind. Sam the Bennett on difficulty. Is the green jersey. Stefan Kung s'en va seul. Kung going solo, but the peloton were closing in. Une trente d'avance pour uh, Kung. Stefan Kung, Kung s'est relevé en ravitaillement, il a été repris par le peloton, peloton groupé. All together at the front then, as Bennett and Co decided to give up the chase. We've watched the peloton wind its way down towards Lyon for this stage finish. As expected, the attacks came thick and fast over the final few climbs, but once again, the team Sunweb was set to outshine the rest. So he goes clear now. He's heading now to Lyon. It's going to be another victory for Team Sunweb. Get ready. The Danish Dynamite, Soren Kragandersen, wins in Lyon. What a ride. Amazing finish, uh, those last final three kilometers, you had dynamited the legs. I had really good legs the whole day. Uh, of course, you never know how good the other guys are, uh, but my legs felt good the whole day. And when the moment came, I was. it took a long time for me during the tour to get confidence in myself, but I knew, okay, for, if I suffer, they all for sure also suffer, and then I just went for it. Yeah. It's amazing, and we also didn't expect uh, to go so well. We are here with the youngest team in the tour, I think. It's also with the with the pur purpose of future that we are here, but yeah, we are performing already and we are just super happy. Yeah. Crow Anderson taking the biggest win of his career so far, his first on a Grand Tour. Another masterclass from Sunweb, who've had two wins in three days. Luca Mezgec and Simona Consoni, second and third. There were no changes in the overall today. Primoz Roglic still leads his friend and compatriot, Tadej Pogacar, by 44 seconds. Defending champion Egan Bernal in third. Sagan didn't win today, but he clawed back 23 points in the battle for green. Well, in the end, it was like it was. I was fourth, I think, and, uh, and uh, well, the best place what I could do. No joy for Julian Alaphilippe in the final, while Sam Bennett looked a little green around the gills when he rolled in 20 minutes down. Time to rest and regroup before a potentially decisive stage 15, featuring a summit finish on the Grand Colombier.